Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's look at 1 Chronicles chapter 17, and we're going to look at lines 25 to 27. The translation that I'm reading says, You, my God, have revealed to your servant that you will build a house for him, so your servant has found courage to pray to you. You, Lord, are God. You have promised these good things to your servant. Now you have been pleased to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, Lord, have blessed it, and it will be blessed forever. God proves himself to us daily. We must show our commitment to him beginning first through prayer to him every single day throughout each day. Gain the courage to trust him, commit to him, listen and obey him, and believe that success is not possible without him. He will always provide a home, resources, and a way for us. It's our meddling that causes the disruption and delays. It's thinking he won't do something or won't do it on our timetable that causes us to step in and intervene, ignorantly thinking we can control and accomplish things faster and better. The moment we do that, we align ourselves with the enemy's plan and pull ourselves out of alignment with God's plan. We chip away at our relationship with God every time we choose flesh, our desires, our ways over him. We're telling him that he's not enough, doesn't meet our prerequisites, and that we prefer whichever substitute that we've selected. Then when the substitutes fall short, as always, we run to him begging him to make things right. That is conditional love. Matter of fact, it's not love. It's abusive and negligent. Imagine another human treating us that way. What would we do? How would we act? Yet God loves, forgives, and patiently works with us despite our foolishness. Ponder that. And let's pray on it. Father, you show me consistently how you are here for me, blessing me, and taking care of my needs. Your commitment and devotion to me gives me the courage and faith to believe in the impossible and unimaginable. I'm grateful for our relationship. I pray that it is strengthened, reinforced, and impenetrable. I thank you now for blessing me with a home filled with love, peace, and joy. I thank you now for blessing me and protecting me all the days of my life. Thank you, Father. Amen. And with that, family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. I love you all. Make today an amazing day. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.